Haven't you got anything better to do on a Sunday? <laughs> yes. Around an old building. Very nice to see you all. Just keep coming in. You've seen the state of the building. Um, it'll take us about two years. Um, you, probably many of you here, helped to raise the first million to buy the place. So we're very grateful to you. And as you can see, we're going to need another few bob to make it... <laughs> well, exactly. Um, there's very simple things. You can sponsor a seat, which is a thousand quid, for which you get absolutely nothing except your name somewhere <laughs> near the seat. Um, and you can join the advanced booking list, which is 285 quid, which is absolute extortion, and you can't start being a member until we open in two years. But it's a very good deal, so if you fancy that. <laughs> the sponsorship and all big stuff, if you've got big money, then that'll be very nice too. But, um, we can... Now, Denise, who speaks much better than me, would like to say something about marketing and other things. The building has been protected fiercely for several, well, for 15 years, pretty much, since it closed in 95, um, and the public is still supporting it, so it's fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, there's a lot of ways that you can keep in touch with what's going on and stay updated. Um, there is a new website going up pretty much directly after We this. also have a, a new Twitter address, which you'll also be able to follow. And there's going to be a monthly update in the Hearts Advertiser as well, which is dedicated to the cinema. So lots of ways that you can keep up to date, stay involved, and all of that kind of stuff. Um, also, what's going on is, uh, I know that a lot of people in the queue were talking about memories and reminiscences and anecdotes and all sorts of things from what you remember of the Odeon, or indeed of other carnations in the cinema. Um, if you do have any stories at all, if you have anecdotes, if you remember seeing a film here, um, if you came here on your first date, whatever it might be, please, please tell us that we want to do an exhibition of people's memories and we want to do um, some portrait photography and that kind of thing. But even if you just have something you want to tell us about, it'd be fantastic to hear from you. So please get involved and let us know. Thank you very much. It is here, ladies and gentlemen, who came for five minutes and it looks like she's going to stay for the rest of her life, which is a bit of a shame for her, but never mind. So that's the kind of volunteering, really. There are, if you've got anything, um, and if, especially if you can speak like that, you're very welcome indeed. Anyway, enough of all this. It's, it is fantastic to see you all. It's just brilliant that you've all turned up today. The, I'm going to introduce Alexandra Heal now. Um, now, this girl, you're, you're here because of this girl, believe it or not. Um, I'm going to introduce her before this. Um, she's 16 now, when she was 15 in April last year. Um, she wrote to the local paper and asked them what was happening with the cinema and why it wasn't going to be a cinema. Um, before that, I think permission had almost been granted, in fact, it had been granted demolition and the flats to be built. Uh, Alexandra asked the question why that's, this is going to happen. Um, what she in fact did was start the whole big storm again, because it had dipped. As soon as we realized there was permission, everybody to sort out, well, that's it, we've had it. And then a wonderful thing happened. The recession hit. <laughs> great for us, terrible for the developer. So, um, but the main thing is that Alexander was the first one to start getting people talking to us. We had entrepreneurs and millionaires and people who really wanted to support it. And all of those things all came from her article in the paper in April last year. So I thought it was only fitting that she should announce the name of the cinema. Um, and we believe, well, we don't know whoever, whoever, whoever was picked out of the hat might be in the audience or might not be. But it's Alex Randall's duty who's going to now name it. And therefore, you can shout and scream at her because I'm getting out of the way. the new name to you today. Um, the name has a very close link to this cinema because the project has been and will continue to be uh, a journey and a quest and also the name is a word taken from one of Stanley Kubrick's most famous films thus it's very closely related to St Albans and the name is long pause oh, if I can open the paper the Odyssey. Yeah. <laughs> 